Today, we are going to be balancing the equation of CH4 plus Cl2, which will yield or produce CCl4 plus HCl. Now, I already wrote us our balancing chart of the reactants and the products and the elements that I see that are on both the reactants and the product sides. So in this case, we have three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and chlorine. All we have to do is write down how many we're starting with, and then we will get to balancing. Let's start with the left-hand side. I see that I have a carbon here. There's no number next to it, so that means that there's only one. There's one C, one carbon. So I'm gonna put a one for carbon. For the hydrogen, I see that there's a four next door, so that means that there are four hydrogens. And then for the chlorine, I see that there's a two next door, so I'm starting off with two chlorines. Coming over to my product side, AKA the right side, I have a carbon here. There's no number immediately next to it, so that means that there's one carbon. So I'll put a one here. But now when we look at the chlorines, I see that I have chlorine here, and I also see that I have a Cl here. When you have multiple elements on the same side of the equation, you have to add them together. Literally, there's an addition sign here. So there's four chlorine here. So four plus, plus, there was no number next to this one, so that means that there's one. So four plus one. Four plus one is a total of five chlorines. So I'm going to put down that we have five chlorines down here. And then let's just fix the hydrogens over here. We have one hydrogen because I don't see any number. So there we go. We always try to balance the element first. That's the easiest to balance by multiplication. So for example, I'm trying to balance either hydrogen or chlorine. I can easily balance hydrogen first because I always work from the lower number to the bigger number by multiplication. One times what will get me to four? Yeah, one times four. And that number that you stated goes with the coefficient next to the element that you're trying to balance. So I'm gonna put a four here. But now you gotta be fair. Anytime that you add a coefficient to a compound, something that has more than one element, you have to distribute that number to both elements, in this case, two elements. So I'm gonna change my hydrogen number and I'm gonna change my chlorine number. So now, so now I have four hydrogens, which is what we wanted. So that goes bye-bye, and now I put a four here. And now how many total chlorines are here? Well, there's four chlorines now, but remember, plus there was four chlorines in here. So I have to add them. Four plus four is a total of eight. So now instead of five, I have eight chlorines, and then this one was four. Okay, so everything else is balanced except for the chlorines. But now it's easier, right? Lower number to higher number by multiplication. Two times what will get me to eight? Yeah, two times four. And whatever number that I stated is the coefficient for the element that I'm trying to balance. So I'm gonna put a four here. And then, in this case, we do not need to distribute because there was only one element in this molecule. So now, four times two, just to double check, right? Four times two is eight, so we're good. And looky here, eight chlorines on both sides, four hydrogens on both sides, and one carbon on both sides. That's what balancing is. You have to have the same amount on both sides for any element. And this is our balanced equation, guys. I have one CH4 plus four Cl2s, and that will yield one CCl4 plus four HCls. And that's it. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to help us out. Thank you so much for that. Hope you have a great day. Let's keep studying hard, okay? See you later. Bye-bye.